Hello everyone, a warm welcome to you. My name is Nick and we're looking at a black screen. Well, no, in a moment, music's going to start for Dalek Attack on the Commodore Amiga, published by Alternative Software in 1992. At least I hope it's going to start. Uh, and then we'll actually have a review of this game. Listen to the music. Not bad, eh? Now, I'm not quite sure about that winking business. That was Sylvester McCoy. He was the seventh doctor. This game also came out on the Atari ST, the Commodore 64, and DOS as well. But um, we've reviewed this game already on the ZX Spectrum. You may have watched, but the story is Daleks are invading the Earth and want to turn the whole place into a Dalek production factory. Slightly uh, more passive music here. Dalek attack. It's for two players, but I'm the only one here. If there is a second player, they control the Doctor's assistant. The year is 2254, and it's the planet Scaro. There's those nasty Daleks who are always up to no good. Attacking the Earth. Now, this game, you're against um, Daleks, Davros, and a whole heap of stuff. And uh, he really doesn't like the human race at all, uh, much like all the aliens. Doctor Who, which I'm sure you know, is a show that's been going on forever on the BBC, which follows Time Lords which regenerate and save the Earth from all sorts of things. There is a cheat for this game, uh, which I can't get to work. Apparently you type in Roger Moore and Oliver Reed um, were never good singers or something like that. Well, I've tried everything and can't get it to work, so the chances are I might not get off level one. We'll try though. There's Sylvester McCoy and his assistant. But who's going to get in the TARDIS? Just Sylvester McCoy, and he leaves his assistant to rot because Player 2 isn't here to control them. Oh dear, oh dear. So we're going to the sewers below London Town. We've got to save the whole place, but don't get worried, don't get yourself in a pickle. Um, Doctor Doctor, I feel like a carrot, don't get yourself in a stew. Well, we're off to a good start here. Now, the Doctor is in this flying thing. We're trying to go up and down and rescue hostages. This is very different to the Spectrum version where he's running left and right to rescue them. Here we can only go in one direction. And if we dawdle, then Daleks start attacking us from behind like there a little bit. Exterminate! And all that. Here they come! Yeah, oh God. That's their favourite word, I think. Now our lives are represented on the bottom left. We've got three left. Our health will go down. Uh, so you, it's at three at the moment. It might go down to two, then one, then nothing at all. But a player, second player would be quite good here to help me going along. If you've played this, then let me know if you've got the cheat to work. As I say, this version is a bit different to the Spectrum version. I don't know if it's different to the other versions, because it also came out on the Atari ST, as I said, Commodore 64 and DOS. Alternative software in 1992. You must avoid all the obstacles, don't get shot, and um, don't kill the hostage if you can do. Um, you're supposed to just shoot and they just drop from the ceiling. Uh, I've just killed that one, so that's no good at all. Can I get off level one? I've got two level lives left. There we go, so he's rescued. And then if you get to level two, as I did on the Spectrum version, then you're actually in London running around. Hooray, but it's a shame I couldn't get that cheat to work. It's such a long cheat to type in. There's variations. James Bond and Oliver Reed are not very good singers, and... Roger Moore and Oliver Reed are not very good singers. Well, never good singers. And now, right, end of level boss, we got there. So it's all about this bit. Two snake robotic things. If I can just... Maybe I can just time this. Can I know I'm dead? Oh, dear. Well, we've got some credits to continue. Hopefully, I haven't got to start right from the beginning again. Please don't start from the beginning again. Don't start from the beginning again. Please don't start from the beginning again. I can't remember what to do, really. Yes, I can. Load in the sewer, press fire. Oh, we've got to start from the begin again. Did we start here last time? We did. Doctor, Doctor, I've lost my memory. When did this happen? If you know any uh, Doctor, Doctor jokes, then put them below. 
um, you're more than welcome to do so. Hooray! You can't be a good Doctor Doctor joke, but unfortunately there aren't any. What other ones spring to mind? Yeah, Doctor Doctor, I feel like a pair of curtains. Pull yourself together. <laughs> yeah, oh dearie me. Right, can we get off level one? That's where we want to do. If I keep manoeuvring around the place, then hopefully those Daleks won't come from behind and keep killing me. Yeah. Um, great stuff. Um, Doctor Doctor, I feel like a bell. Take two tablets and give me a ring if you're not any better. Great. That's exhausted all my Doctor Doctor jokes, unless I think of any other ones. So I'm reliant on you now to put your Doctor Doctor jokes below as we try and hunt down Davros and destroy him. Rescued. Good. Come on. It scores quite well this game. The graphics are good. The music is great at the start. There is an option in the game to have sound effects or music. We're going for sound effects. I think that's a bit better. I love to hear the Daleks say they're exterminate business. On the intro at the start, I skipped past it, I think. I think I pressed fire button too early. The Daleks do say their plan, how they're going to attack the Earth in that annoying voice. But they're no way going to take over the Earth because the Doctor is on the case. Now, according to the instructions here, there's three versions of the Doctor you can play in this game. Come on, let's take these out. And there's three different companions as well. So whether that changes on different levels, but I'm, I'm never going to find out unless I've got the cheat on. If you've completed this on the Amiga, then let me know. I've got a chance here. I've got four lives left. Let's get the time in here. If you completed this on any version, then let me know what happens at the end. Do you get to play as other Doctors? I'm presuming you play as the two Doctors before this one, which is Colin Baker with his colourful clothes on, and uh, maybe Peter Davidson with the um, leak or stick of celery on, him, on his um, cricket gear. Yeah, It's a strange world, but if you're a Time Lord, you can do what you want. Come on, let's get off this. Come on, die. I don't remember these snakes actually in Doctor Who. Why have the Daleks created these? I do not know. Come on. Let's take these guys out. Maybe we have to hit that thing going up and down, that bomb thing at the back there. That might be a ladder. Right, we've only got one life left. Come on, Sylvester McCoy. This, he was quite a short Doctor. Was he shorter than um, the second one? Was that Patrick Trout? Was it? Yes, we got one of them. Right, okay. Yeah, so I don't know why the Spectrum version hasn't got him on this flying thing. He's just running left and right. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, dang, 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 dang. This game does have the TARDIS in at the start, as you might have noticed. Spectrum version did not, apart from the intro sequence. Spectrum version music is good. This one is super good. Right, die you, die you. Keep moving, keep on moving, as S-Club 7 used to say. Keep on moving, something, something, something. Doctor Who was going in the sewer. I think that were the words. Right, let's, let's try and kill no hostages this time. I mean, what sewer's this? These London sewers are very, very dangerous. It's nicely lit, though. I've never been down a sewer, and I don't plan to. I'm presuming it be a bit stinky. And the smell might rub off on your clothes, so when you're above ground, people might think, Where have you been, a sewer? You say, Yes, I have. And they think, Why? I don't know. It's not the most accessible place for a Dalek. They need smooth surfaces to roll along on. Why would they go down a sewer? I don't know. Right, how far have we got on this? Are we near the end of the level yet? Up, down, up, down. I'll try and get off level one for you. But uh, I can't guarantee it, because my gameplay is not great at the best of times. And I haven't played this too often, and the same old excuses that I use in every video. The cheat don't work, that's my excuse. I've typed it in over and over again, with spaces in capitals, not capitals. I need to I need to find a cracked version, really, to get any further on this one. But I'm maintaining my lives, folks. Five. Oh, go away, you Daleks. Good. Well, we're down to four lives now. Is that enough? I think at the end there, I think I might just... um. Don't, just keep firing, just keep firing for all your worth. Yeah, we won't bother about timing behind that thing. We'll just keep blasting it and hope for the best here. So four lives there, four lives. They're taking a bit of a hammer in these two. Just keep fighting, Doc. Three lives, one's gone. Oh, we can't take too much more. Come on. Go on. Dear, yeah, this looks like the better tactic for me. Two lives, yay! We're off level one. Take that. Sylvester McCoy escapes out the sewer. Do Loading up London. Well, the review's a success now. Good graphics, good music, good animation. 
Uh, very tricky though, but I say that about most games. It's okay. If I'd bought this back in the day, I wouldn't have been too disappointed. Boom. Take that. Right, that's them. I think I just threw a grenade then. Now look out on London. Oh, don't go in the Thames. Look out for London for all our power-ups and extra energy, because we'll need those. We've only got one life left. Yeah, the layout's a bit different to the Spectrum version as well. You could just go straight up here. Can't seem to land on those window ledges. No, that's not a physical ledge. Right, so need to find a different way round. I don't know what part of London this is, but it's no part that I recognise. Maybe it's... I don't know. Maybe it's Westminster along the uh, Thames there. Who knows? Is that an object I can pick up? No. Du, du, du. Right, there's a guy firing stuff up there. That's a lightning. I think that's an extra super weapon. Right, so we've improved our weapon. At least on this version you can see the uh, the various colours. There's Big Ben back there. The time seems to be stuck on 10 past 11. And I'm dead. I died at 10 past 11. One credit left. Load in London. Let's try and get a bit further on this. Are you a Doctor Who fan? Then let me know. I've probably used up all my Doctor Who speak on the Spectrum version. We didn't review that too long ago. I won't ask you what your favourite Doctor is because most of you told me, or the people that answered the question, it was either Tom Baker or um, Pertwee. No one said Colin Baker. That's a surprise. No one said Sylvester McCoy. Um, what can you do about that then? These Daleks don't seem to be um, seem to be a bit indestructible. Let's not go. Let's not go nose to nose with a Dalek. Go through here. Excellent. There's a Robo Man. He can die. Right up. On, oh look, there's coins up there. That must be what we need to do. Let's get these. Yeah, there's Big Ben again. Ten past eleven. Oh, look at that. The ledge is falling. Can I get this one? Yay! Up on the roof. Now, I won't do a leap of faith because that's often bad news. It's a hand grenade. Where do we need to go now? There's a London bus there. Where's that go? Liverpool Street? Take that. Right. We need to go in a building, I think, somehow. Can we go in here? Fire button up. Up fire button. Don't seem to be going in here. That must be the way in. Or whether that's a, that's a fake place. Let's make a phone call from that phone box. I wonder if that's another TARDIS in disguise. Okay, now the Doctor's TARDIS is a police box. There's no police boxes around anymore in uh, England. So, um, I think it the uh, it's supposed to mutate or change to match its surroundings, like a chameleon circuit, but that chameleon circuit's broken. Right, okay, we went through a door and we died. Man, the Doctor is doomed. We'll have one last go of this. I think you've seen all there is to see on this game. It's a good homage to Doctor Who, I would say. It won't go down as a classic game of all time, but it's acceptable. There's a lot of dross out there, and this isn't one of them. There's attention to the graphics. They spent quite a while trying to get perfect this. The speech is taken directly from the show, and it's good. Well, it's okay. Let's not, let's not overstate it. It's okay. It's pretty good. Pretty good, okay. I can't make my mind up. Make your mind up, Nick. It's, it's, it's good. Big Ben, what's the time? Check it. Ten past eleven. And we're dead again. Okay. Exterminate. Failing in his mission, the Doctor tries to escape and he gets vaporised. Uh, all his component atoms are destroyed. So I presume he's now going to regenerate into someone else. You have been caught, Doctor, says Davros. So the future of the planet Earth in my hands and no one can stop me. If I could just... What, regenerate? I think it's going to regenerate into... Um, who, who, who was next? That bloke did the films. McGann someone. Dalek Attack. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Dalek Attack on the Amiga, published by Alternative Software in 1992. Also known as Admiral Software for a while, as you see from that graphic. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Got any comments about this game, Doctor Who, retro gaming or anything at all, then uh, put that below and I always read your comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.